Hello my dear friends, this is Jim Das Selvas back in action with the Combat Mission Fortress Italy series. Since the last video about the battle for the conquest of the strategic city of Battipaglia, where the German paratroopers, the feared Falskar Majagar, with a force of little more than one company and three tanks managed to overcome a British battalion, capturing many prisoners, which usually be an unusual fact in situations where these forces meet. British forces are often extremely resistant to surrender and typically have professional and competent leadership and excellent morale. These facts seem very contradictory with the events of the last series, counterattack in Battipaglia, where despite having previously structured defensive positions in stone buildings protecting their troops, they were easily overwhelmed by the enemy. In addition, the battle took place in an urban warfare scenario, which frankly favors the defending forces, with a usual calculation being the need for a manpower ratio of at least 3 to 1 in favor of the attackers for the operation to be viable. And this was not the case, as British numbers far outnumbered the hostile forces. The tanks provided the Germans with great firepower, but this enormous advantage was limited by the urban environment. This great German advantage proved susceptible to attack by the British infantry's anti-tank weapons, the famous Piat, which, from Jim's point of view, were badly used. With these issues in mind, Jim has decided to replace the British High Command and will personally lead British forces in this series, now from an allied perspective. The first step will be to attack the German forces as they cross the open ground towards the town of Battipaglia. To this end, the structure of the British squadrons will be modified, separating a base of fire consisting of brain light machine guns and Vickers medium machine guns to engage the German forces as they move towards Battipaglia, affecting the enemy, reducing their manpower and, hopefully, impacting the morale of paratroopers. These forces situated on the outskirts of Battipaglia will find themselves extremely susceptible to attack by tanks accompanying the hostile forces, which will be able to attack them from a long distance, and casualties are expected.
in a second line further back and away from the power of the tanks it will be composed of assault units specialized in close range combat which will be armed with Leenfield bolt action rifles and Tommy gun submachine guns A few mortar units will be deployed across the front area to try to inflict maximum casualties among German troop concentrations and eventually lay smoke screens to obstruct the line of sight of German tanks. as a last resort what is certainly our main resource in this battle which are the piat anti tank weapons which will initially be positioned in protected areas in the rear to move quickly and face the armored units when they enter the perimeter of the city One of the reasons for the British defeat in the battle is related to the fact that the British troops were extremely inexperienced with leadership also without any experience in battle. The only more experienced troops and even then they are only considered regulars are in the command of the battalion. with these issues proximity between squads and their commanders is vital which is demonstrated by the red lines which are the lines of command this proximity greatly reduces the degradation of the unit's morale minimizing the chances of early surrender to take advantage of the qualities of leaders who have binoculars essential to locate hostile forces from a distance these units will be instructed not to fire at long range which will hopefully prevent the location of these leaders and their possible protection this is the function of the yellow circles placed around these leaders which will make these units only open fire from a limited distance
Sniper units will be positioned ahead with the function of identifying the main line of advance of the hostile forces, passing this information on to Jim who, in due course, will provide for the repositioning of his forces towards possible threats. In summary, Jim will try to create a defensive perimeter in depth, with a first line consisting of medium and heavy machine guns that will engage the enemy at a greater distance, in a tactic of attrition, with the objective of reducing hostile forces before they reach the limits of Bati Paglia. This first defensive perimeter will also count on the presence of snippers and leaders, who hopefully, will identify the hostile forces early, determining the enemy's main lines of advance and, with this, determine the most appropriate tactical disposition for the situation. A second defensive line will consist of units specializing in close quarters combat, which will engage the German forces as soon as they penetrate the buildings on the outermost portion of Batipaglia. Finally, and not least, we will have units specialized in combating tanks, carrying PITs, which will try to attack German tanks when they penetrate the narrow streets of Batipaglia, where they will certainly be very vulnerable to the attack of this weaponry. All right, let's finalize our preparations, then start this British rematch under new leadership against the terrible false car Majagars.
Well done friends, with this meticulous preparation, Jim hopes to surprise the false Karmajagars with a defensive in-depth tactical positioning and hopefully win this battle and, in addition, offer you, my friends, a spectacular and intense battle. Hope you enjoy. Namaste.